T.J. Ashford will have a tough decision to make on Monday, October 30, according to General Hospital spoilers. When T.J. discovered Mason Gatlin would not be charged for kidnapping him, he became enraged at the lack of justice. T.J., on the other hand, found himself outside Mason's hospital room, seeing Austin Gatlin Holt smother his cousin with a pillow. Although it goes against everything T.J. thinks as a doctor, his personal side that desires vengeance may triumph. T.J. may opt to let this crime happen and cover for Austin once the evil is done. According to G.A. spoilers, Austin will be intoxicated on Monday's episode, so he won't be arrested for assaulting Mason. If T.J. intervenes and saves Mason's life, Mason will undoubtedly inform the cops about Austin. Austin appears to be the only one who can get away with this now if he completes the job and trusts that T.J. will keep his mouth quiet in the aftermath. Although Austin despises Mason's guts, murdering his cousin could have consequences for him. Austin will be angry that he is constantly put into bad situations, so it's simple to see why he'll want to numb everything with drink. Meanwhile, Laura Collins will meet up with Ava Jerome, who will be startled to find that Nicholas Cassadine is alive and has been in Geneva. The gears may begin to shift for Ava, who may finally learn Austin lied to her about what happened the night he assisted her with Nicholas. Monday's G8 preview video shows Ava sternly sending someone to the gallery right now so she can call Austin over and demand the truth. In Vermont, Elizabeth Baldwin and Hamilton Finn will let more sparks fly as they get closer, so it seems like they might ultimately hit the sheets. Back in Port Charles, Brooke Lynn Quartermain will reportedly decline a drink and tell Christina Corinthos Davis that she needs a clear head for what she's about to do. While Brooke Lynn takes care of Tracy Quartermain, Sal McCall, Kelly Monaco, will enlist the services of Cody Bell and Sasha Gilmore for a project, possibly something special for Halloween. Lucy Coe, on the other hand, will make a daring declaration to Martin Gray. Lucy will decide that she needs to show Tracy exactly who she's dealing with, so she'll take a surprising stand. Following that, Eddie Main, alias Ned Quartermain, will discuss refusing to take no for an answer. During Eddie's talk with Tracy, there will be some back and forth and frustration on both sides. Olivia Quartermain will eventually come to Eddie's defense, so he should cherish having her on his side. Sonny Corinthos will also have an emotional reunion with Lois Cerullo, who will receive information on all important happenings in his life, including his new marriage to Nina Corinthos. Lois will undoubtedly inquire how anything is going for Sonny, so she will urge for honesty and offer the same when she offers counsel. According to General Hospital teasers, Sonny will love reconnecting with Lois, but he will have to focus on Cyrus Renault and more disturbing news later. According to General Hospital spoilers, Nina Corinthos may decide she will not accept Michael Corinthos' blackmail threat. Nina will now require Michael's permission to see Willow Corinthos and her grandchildren. Furthermore, Michael has warned Nina to sell Carly Spencer's part of the Metro Court back to her. Even when Nina pointed out that Carly didn't have enough money, Michael insisted that she think out a way to make it work. Of course, none of this makes sense given that Nina had volunteered to give Carly her half of the Metro Court and was rejected down. Carly was too proud and stubborn to accept any of the other helpful offers she received, so it's no one's fault but her own that she doesn't have a hotel room right now. Michael limiting when and how often Nana sees Willow isn't a good look, especially since Willow escaped the horrors of dawn of day. Willow is an adult with the right to make her own decisions, but Michael is making them for her and dominating the situation like a tyrant cult leader who believes he knows best. Naturally, all of this could be resolved if Nana came clean about her role in leaking Carly and Drew Kane to the SEC, but it doesn't mean Michael's actions are correct. Since Michael believes Nina is the slime of the earth, he should tell Willow and Sonny Corinthos the whole truth rather than manipulating things with a blackmail plot. Most of us are already anticipating the big revelation. Michael is treating everything incorrectly, therefore he may face the same punishment from Nina at some point. 
fans of G8 know that two can play that game, so will Niner choose to fight back and dig out dirt on Michael? Martin Gray owes Niner because he pledged her name would never be revealed as the SEC informant, but he was clearly mistaken. Niner may enlist Martin's assistance in probing Michael in the hopes of gaining leverage. Niner, on the other hand, may conduct her own investigation, or damaging information could fall directly into her lap. There have already been instances where Nina appeared to be skeptical about Dex Heller. Nina could be able to learn about Michael first employing Dex as a plant in Sonny's business and intending to imprison his father. Michael went so far as to procure a flash drive containing film of Sonny's Pikeman operations, so he might have wreaked havoc by sending Sonny to prison and leaving his family unprotected. If Nina discovers Michael's major secret and Carly's knowledge of it, it may lead to a blackmail standoff. Nina might answer Michael's threat with her own, ensuring Michael's silence. However, it is possible that Nina will choose to tell Sonny the truth about Evie Roy thing and warn Michael that they should simply let the chips fall where they may. In any case, Nina might undertake some digging or eavesdropping to obtain an advantage. Michael could be in for a harsh revelation if Nina flips the script and updates him on her new plans. According to General Hospital spoilers, there will be more twists and turns in this plot, so stay tuned for updates on Nina's future steps. Eva Jerome is in for a surprise. General Hospital spoilers for October 30, 2023 include a close-quarters romance, a surprising revelation, and much more. You will not want to miss a single second of this brand new episode. Highlights from General Hospital. Another day, another person with whom she can share her insights. Laura's most recent lunch companion is her ex-daughter-in-law and sort of girl pal Ava Jerome. Would Ava be surprised to learn that Nicholas isn't dead and that his body is someplace in Portok? And how will she handle the good-slash-bad news situation? And while we're on the subject of Portok, expect native son Austin Gatton Holt to drop everything to consume as much liquor as he can get his hands on. Nothing has gone his way in a long time, but perhaps he can find solace at the bottom of a bottle. Doubtful, but possible. A vacation was exactly what the doctor prescribed. Liz has not only gained a new ability, but she and Finn are also closer than ever, both metaphorically and literally. You didn't expect their vacation home to be some opulent mansion, did you? Olivia and Nettie's relationship is also undergoing some development. Sure, he's vulgar, and she's uptight, and they've never really agreed on, well, much of anything, but Olivia will stand up for her husband's alter ego when the chips are down, and her support for him will not go unnoticed by him. Finally, according to GH teasers, Sonny has a very warm reunion. We imagine or at least hope that he would finally get to spend time with his beloved friend, Lois from Bensonhurst, with memories of past times shared. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.